Hi, I'm your neighbor. Yeah, L. Hi. So I noticed that's your car, right? The silver. Yeah. So I noticed you've been parking like really, really close to the line. And I was wondering if maybe you could like not do that. I know that you have a big car, um, but so do I. And I'm afraid that you're gonna hit my car with your door. Are you like, okay? No, you just sort of look like you're gonna cry? Did I say something wrong or? Oh. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. You were already having a tough day, okay. Well listen, this isn't like a big deal. Um, it's mostly just me having a fear from the old apartment that I lived in, where my car got dinged up by the person who lived next to me all the time. And it's really a me thing. Um, I figured I would just ask you and get it out of the way. No, no. There's no hard feelings. It's totally fine. If I'm honest, it, it looks like you could use someone to talk to. Is that... Yeah? Okay. Uh, mind if I come inside? Well, I see you have a teapot going, so you could pour some tea for me. Okay, great. Mmm, this is a nice place. We have really similar floor plans, but I think maybe I have an extra bedroom or something. How many do you have? Yeah, yeah, I have one extra one. But yours is like more updated than mine. Even the floor is nicer. Mm, can I just sit on your couch? Okay. Very squishy couch. Very bachelor pad couch, but that's all right. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I do love green tea. I guess we have that in common. And this is perfect. Mm, that's really good. Where'd you get this? Oh my god, I love Trader Joe's. I really do. <laughs> it's one of those places where I feel like every time I go, it's an adventure. You know what I mean? Like, they always have all that seasonal stuff. And then everyone who works there is just always having, like, the best day of their life. You know? <laughs> I just feel like any other grocery store you go to, people might be sort of down, annoyed that they're at work. But at Trader Joe's, they're singing. They're, like, playing hacky sack and shit. <laughs> Anyway, I will have to grab this tea next time I'm over there. Now, why don't you tell me what's going on? No, no, don't be shy, please. Hmm. Wait, she said what? <sighs> Okay, continue. Mm. Mm. No, that, that does not sound like it's your fault. Not at all. If anything, she sounds not very nice. And when did this happen? Oh, honey, it's so fresh. Oh my gosh. Now I see why you were upset. I'm so sorry. You definitely don't deserve that. No, 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 no. There is nothing wrong with you, okay? Think of it like the chances of you finding somebody that you actually like is rare because what you like is so specific to you. 
I really do think that there is somebody for everybody, but it does take time. And obviously, if she treated you like that, she's not worth your time. I know that doesn't really fix anything, at least. Not right now, but I hope you know it's true. I'm not just saying that. Oh, please. <laughs> I mean, I'm older than you, so I've had more dating experience than you. I've had my fair share of heartbreaks, manipulative losers, I mean, you name it. And I have dated it. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to learn things the hard way, and it sucks every single time, but you learn something, and that's a good thing. And besides, you took a leap of faith even trying a relationship with somebody. It's not easy to put yourself out there. I think that's probably the hardest part of dating, is just the vulnerability of being open to it. Oh, do you want a hug? Yeah, here, come here. I'll hug you. Mm. Mm. Nice and tight. Don't worry, I'm sturdy. <laughs> you can hug me tighter than that. Mm. Oh, that's a good hug. <laughs> mm. It feels nice, right? Just to have somebody embrace you for a bit. <sighs> Yeah, it feels nice for me, too. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. What a delectable hug. <laughs> I mean, gosh, with hugs like that. I'd imagine that you have trouble keeping the ladies away from you. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Oh, honey. If you think that I'm offering you empty compliments, you are sorely mistaken. That is not my brand. <laughs> I only say things if I mean it. And that's why I came over here to tell you that your car was parked too close to mine. <laughs> I say what I mean and I mean what I say. And it's nice, right? Like. I think there's something about being with an older woman who knows what she wants, who isn't still trying to figure out who she is. You know what I mean? <laughs> How old was the girl that you were with? Yeah, I mean, girls in their 20s, <laughs> they try. <laughs> They're trying, I think, but there's a lot of growing up to do, for sure. And maybe you're just too mature for girls your age. Have you ever thought about that? Well, I don't know. I mean, you were open to discussing your feelings with me and didn't shy away from the feelings of hurt. That's pretty mature. <laughs> A lot of guys your age would say, oh, I'm fine, I don't care, and they wouldn't show any emotions. And that's usually a sign of insecurity. But you didn't do that. So, that's why I think maybe you're mature for your age. <laughs> no, I am not flirting with you. But I could be. <laughs> if you are interested, I, I could be. Because if you think this is flirting, <laughs> that's how I know you've only been dating girls in their 20s. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's endearing, please. I promise. <laughs> I do think that you're very handsome. When I knocked on your door, I actually didn't know it was you that lived here. I've seen you around walking your dog. I've definitely <laughs> given you the eye a couple of times. <laughs> I don't know, I just think you're cute. 
you give off like very confident but charming energy and I noticed <laughs> Full disclosure, I normally would not go for a guy in his 20s, but I don't know. I mean, <laughs> like I said, you seem mature for your age. So does this mean you want to go on a date with me? Hmm. <laughs> don't be shy. Say it. Hmm. Yeah, you want to take me on a date? Am I the oldest woman that you've ever been on a date with? Oh, how do you feel about that? Does that intimidate you? No, okay. I like that. I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, you really are cute. Yeah. I kind of want to hold your hand. <laughs> Is that okay? Is that too much? I know you're obviously getting over your ex, but hand-holding is okay, right? Hmm, oh, your hands are so warm. I do like how that feels. Do you? Hmm. <laughs> You look a little tiny bit flustered. Am I right? Mm. <laughs> There's no reason to be nervous if you are. We're just friends, chatting, that's all. Friends who I think are gonna go on a date, right? <laughs> so maybe a little more than friends, but it's not like we've kissed or anything. <laughs> I mean, unless you wanted to maybe kiss me. <laughs> yeah, just a panic, nothing crazy. Oh, you went for two. Very bold of you. <laughs> very, very bold of you, but I don't mind. <laughs> no. I mean, gosh, you're already holding my hand. Buy me dinner first. <laughs> and speaking of, I am actually hungry. Are you interested in going to get something to eat? So why don't we do it? Let's have our first date tonight. What do you say? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go change real quick. I don't really wanna go in my work outfit. Let me put on something a little cuter and I'll be back here in a few minutes, okay? <laughs> 